What is going on guys welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you this easy farming method which allows you to kill Nocris in literally 5 seconds giving you an increased chance well a better chance of getting that strange terrain's exclusive Braytec Osprey rocket launcher but hey before we get into that people let me tell you about a giveaway I'm doing every single month and that is a fully customizable controller for either Xbox or PlayStation. Sent anywhere in the world, so it doesn't matter where you're from, you can enter from anywhere. To be in for a chat of winning, drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Obviously, you need to be subscribed to my channel too. They can enter the giveaway video gleam link linked at the top of the video description. Fast, simple, and legit. Good luck, everybody. Okay, so firstly, you want to make sure the prestige version is selected and using the Five of Swords challenge card, which you get from Zer. Within the challenge card itself, you need to have Arc Singe as well as Heavyweight on. So classes, you need at least one Titan and one Warlock. The Titan needs to be on his Sunbreaker subclass and needs to be using the top skill tree with Hammer Strike. The Warlock needs to be using the Lunification Boots as well as the Empowering Rift. The Warlock also needs to be using the Warcliffe Coil and so does that third spare player. Titan can use the Warcliffe Coil if he wants, but I wouldn't as you do get up and close with the boss and I'll explain why in a second and it's very dangerous and you'll probably end up killing yourself so if I were you I'd go with a fully auto arc shotgun that's what I suggest you guys go with and here's how it's done so once you enter the room of Nocris as you well know he doesn't appear until the knights are killed now if heavyweight is selected people each one that's killed does drop heavy and after the knights are killed people this is where you need to create a good timing of execution so once the knights have been killed, the warlock and the other spare player both need to have their war cliffs at the ready and the warlock needs to lay down his empowering rift as you can see on screen now. Nocris when he does first appear though is immune for a few seconds so this is where that timing comes in and needs to be perfect from that titan mostly. If you fail the first time it doesn't matter, you can just try and try again until you get it down people. You will eventually get the hang of it for sure if you are persistent as it is quite easy. So the Titan needs to time his run perfect for when Nakris gets out of that immune state. And how Hammer Strike works is you need to be sprinting and land a melee hit. So once Nakris does appear, run from the position I am at or around this area, jump and land that melee hit. You should land it at a perfect time. Once you do, your teammates will be aware of this and will have to pummel him with that World Cliff Coil instantly while the Titan 2 pummels him with that fully auto shotgun. If timed correctly people, you'll kill him within a matter of seconds and that also epic and and juicy loot will be yours people and it is really as simple as that so a quick summary three characters one titan and one warlock third can be anything titan needs to be using the sunbreaker subclass and be using a top skill tree with hammer strike warlock needs to be using the lunification boots as well as the empowering rift the warlock and the third player both need to be using the war cliff coil and i suggest the titan goes with a fully auto arc shotgun titan times is run perfectly towards nocris lands that hammer strike blow while the Warlock and the third spare player stand in the Empowering Rift, ready for that Titan's melee blow with their Warcliffs equipped. Once the Titan lands that Hammer Strike, they pummel him with the Warcliff Coil, and the Titan 2 pummels him with that Arc Shotgun. And it is, people, as easy as that. And there you have it, guys. This is by far the best way of farming for the Braytech Osprey, not Chris exclusive rocket launcher. But guys, we have come to the end of the video. If the video does help you out, leaving a like on this video helps me out and I do appreciate that support. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I. Get it right